What's going on, guys? Welcome back for another episode of Legend Rising Empire. Yes, yes, yes. Here we go. All right, so they've done all kind of updates. Well, not really all kind of updates, but it made a couple quality of life improvements, and it makes it so much easier in the game, guys. Like, it's like stupid easy now. Um, let's see. Now, there's a few things that we were able to... Oh, we leveled up. Nice. Now we're level 13. Hey, hey. Get all these good resources here. All right, so what we were able to build since last video or actually since we leveled up our castle, was the stockyard. All right, with here, well, with the stockyard here, you're going to be able to... Uh, stockyards are a vital source of food in the city. Leveling up stockyard unlocks new produce and increases production. Now, with all this, you get to make all kind of stuff. Eggs, you can make some kind of pork, duck, mutton, um, ground beef. So those of you guys that like that good old curry goat, you got the mutton right there. Yum, 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 yum. All right, so we're also able to build a steakhouse. All right, so the steakhouse, slaughterhouse are a source of protein. Leveling the slaughterhouse unlocks new products and, and, and increases production. So definitely want to get all the food production we can get because we don't want our, our uh, guys to be starving out here. All right, rough streets. We got a bathhouse that we're able to build as well. Let me see. Um, you initiate underground trading with the mysterious merchant. And the bathhouse upgraded to increase the amount of merchandise for sale and your discount. And also the sack workshop. Sack workshop makes the sacks necessary to recruit rogues. Um, leveling up the sack workshop unlocks new sacks and increases production. All right. And the tannery, of course. You guys know what that is. And I think, well, I forgot what else we were able to build. There's a bunch of other stuff. I think the hunting lodge, both of those, I think. Um, honey lodge, hunting lodges, hunting grounds are vital source of raw materials. So leveling up the hunting ground unlocks new materials and increases production. So we, yeah, we got that, and I think that's pretty much it. I think no, there's something else. There's one more thing. I don't even remember what it was. Trade station, maybe I don't know. Or is a minor storehouse? That's what I think it is. Uh, building the storehouse to increase. Uh, the resource production capacity of the city. Uh, resource production building near the storehouse will also receive a production speed bonus. All right, so we got that. Let's go ahead and assist our alliance here. Assist all. And this comes out. They're coming. They're coming along a little, a little good. I can't wait till the game is actually released 100%. Whether we have to start all over, I don't mind because it's easy. Or we get to keep our castles, which is that would be awesome right there as well. I'm cool with it, with whatever, whichever way. Now I had to actually build an opening here, so I can get the uh, the guys that are doing the gathering from the sawmill. They have a faster way to travel instead of having to go all the way around to the main gate here, which is okay. Same thing with these guys here, and these guys are gonna go all the way around. They don't mind. All right, so that's how that works out there. Now I think I was told that I had to pick a faction. There's a north and a south or a something. Yeah, I think a north and a south. I can't remember what it was. But it was so late when I did it. Alright, so we got light dawn. I guess we can equip this. Let's see. Silver crown production speed, 0.65%. Construction speed, 0.3%. Research speed, 0.3%. All right, so we got some extra stuff there. So we're going to put some stuff on. And I guess we can craft up some helmets. I guess it's no item available below stats are for reference only. All right, so I guess we have to have four. We got to forge this stuff. Oh, yeah, let's forge it up, guys. Crafting 101, yes. Crafting 101. So we got the daybreak helmet. Um, we got the crown production speed, 0.65 percent construction speed, raw material. So that's cool. So you can actually craft up some uh, some military gear, or oh, so I guess you can equip your military. Oh, that's nice. This is good. You can craft up your military gear. You can craft up your uh, economy gear also. So we're gonna be pretty much farming. But let's see. If we have military, is there anything we can craft? All right, so light of dawn, that's military, I guess. All 
All right, so there. I think right now we we'll just get as much Akami as we can get just to build up. Oh, so we need some more gear, some more materials, actually. And where we got to get this, I'm not really sure, 100%. Um, use the craft components for leadership proof, especially treated animal hides that are soft. Oh, so we get them from the level one, two, and three vicious bandits. So vicious bandits basically give us all this stuff. So we fight bandits. That's how we get materials. So we gotta keep on fighting those dudes, man. <clears throat> There's nothing else that we can craft. So let's go, go fight some more bandits, man. Go, go, gadget bandit. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna do a search, and let's go for a level three. So I think they may drop us more. I think we get two marches. I don't know. We've only got one hero, so I don't know. Now, the good thing that we can do, though, what I love about this game is you can queue up stuff. You can either queue up the research or you can queue up the building, which is awesome. So if you're upgrading some stuff and you're like, damn, I'm going to be asleep for the next six hours, whatever, seven hours, eight hours, 12 hours, whatever, you know, you can just queue up the next one so they don't automatically go to the next thing instead of having to wait. All right, so we're going to upgrade our castle because we haven't done it yet. We're going to try. All right, so we got to get our city prosperity up. And once we get our city prosperity up, we'll be able to get this. Um, to me, that's not fair. It's all good. So I guess we need to get some birch lumber and city prosperity. Um, city, pro I, guess once we, I think once you get your buildings upgraded, yeah, construction and upgrading buildings, that's how you get your prosperity up. So we got to get our prosperity up. Now, I want to see what level these things are. Okay, there we go. Level two. Ain't then it's level one, man. It's got to go up. Damn, that's an hour, 20 minutes. Like this. I'm going to be off the game in an hour for an hour, 20 minutes. I'm not going to be able to do this. So I'm going to be able to queue up two things. Now, up, upgrading it is good because, let me see, building workshop. We'll queue it up. Queue three things now instead of just one or I mean two queue up three things so we can just do this minor storehouse join the queue so we'll get some prosperity up one way or another and you can always speed up your stuff if you want it's up to you guys it's preference You can go up and down. It's like they, 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 they did a little bit, a couple different elements in this game, which is like, okay, cool. No! All right, so here we go, guys. This is the bad news I didn't want. All right, so dear lords, the test for Legend Rising Empire is coming to an end. The server is estimated to be closed at July 4th. Beijing time. So before I even go to bed, it's probably like in the early afternoon or uh, early evening. Thank you for a lot participating in the test and supporting the game for a month. We look forward to seeing you next time. Wow. Dear Lords, thank you much for your love of the game. It's believed that the departure is temporary and we shall meet again soon. Um, come like the fan page or latest news. Okay, so I'm definitely going to do that. Battle report. All right, so we got a defeat. Jeez. So I guess we better go back down to some lower level, uh, some lower level banditos. Jeez, Louise, brother. So the game's gonna be gone in about three days, two days actually. Damn, that sucks. I just hope it comes back. ASAP Rocky. That's a good one. So I think there may be one more video after this that I'll make. But pretty much that's going to be it. Damn, I didn't realize it was going to be that quick. A month? Yeah, it's been out for about a month or so. Hmm, that's pretty cool, though. All right, so we can also queue up research. Can't forget the research, man. Like I do. I'm glad they have the little thing on the side of the screen. Because if they didn't have this here, I would totally forget. All right, so we have development, economy, and military. We don't need advanced military. We'll never see advanced military until the game gets released. That's the only time we'll see it. So right now can't see it so we're gonna go with the development i think that's construction speed yeah construction speed we need that 
and then <clears throat> I want to speed that up, but I don't want I don't want that to uh let me see military. Let's we'll go military. Let's go ahead and add this rapid march. Can't go wrong with the rap rapid march. So that's all of our queues are full. Research two of two and construction two of two. So attacking them. An enemy, we're doing that already. We're going and through it like a gangbusters. So we must have some points. <clears throat> some ability. Oh, we have two ability points. I didn't even know. Didn't pay attention. Let's go ahead and add points. There we go. Four out of five for research speed. Good stuff. I think we can upgrade our light of dawn. No, 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 no. Equip that junk. All right, so we upgraded it. Uh, it was 0.65, now it's 1.25. Gives us more research speed and construction speed. You can't beat that. Come on, man. Let's go and see if we can upgrade this one too. Yeah. Raw material production speed. Okay. Perfect, man. Let's go kill some more banditos. Cause we got to craft some more gear, man. Cook it up, cook it up, like the chef. Now, as far as march, marches, I don't know how many marches we get. Haven't figured it out. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we actually got. Didn't take very many troops in, but we did get some uh, limestone, pine, and some gold foil. All right, so there we go. We got it. Dang, and I'm off. I'm actually off on the fourth. I'm I'm still dwelling on the fourth thing. I'm actually off, and then they're gonna be. Um. Closing the server down. Jeez. Well, hopefully we can. Oh man, I'm gonna cry for real. Came a little bit attached to this game. All right, so I don't know what these are. I guess these are castles. Golden Lily Town. I don't know what this is. I guess this is the castles you can take. Territories and all that good jazz. Yeah, man. But one good thing, like I said, crafting is the easiest in this game so far. I haven't seen anything bad with it so far. So we're so far so good. We'll go with it. But either way, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. Thanks for so much. Thank you so much for watching this series, guys. I'm going to try to get one more video pumped out. Um, not today, but maybe, I don't know, maybe today. I don't know. But later on, before this server and everything closes down. So you can see how far we've actually made it. We could have made it further. But, you know, it, it is what it is, guys. All right, guys. See you next time. Peace.